Welcome to this lesson on solving right triangles. Solving a triangle means to find all missing sides and angles. You can solve a right triangle if you have one side and one acute angle, or if you have two sides. So let's try some examples. The first thing that I would do is list out what you are missing. So in this first example, I'm missing the measure of angle A. I'm missing the length of side AB and the length of side AC. And it doesn't matter what order you list those in, just list them out and pick one to solve for first. Now, if you're given an acute angle, the easiest thing to do is solve for the other acute angle first, because all you have to do is take 90 minus 48. Remember, the two acute angles in a right triangle are complementary, so they add to 90. So that would be 42 degrees. And then next, I'm going to solve for side AB. So I'm just going to call this X and this Y, just to, so I can keep them separate. And then let me get a different color. So if I'm solving for AB, first of all, I want to use as much of what was given to me originally as I can, just in case I made a mistake somewhere else. I don't want to use what I have found. I want to use what the problem gave me. All right, so I'm going to use 48 degrees to label my sides. So we know we have to use X because that's what we're solving for. We were given eight, so let's use that. That would be the adjacent side. All right, let me write out Sokotoa. So opposite and adjacent, that would be tangent of 48 degrees, opposite over adjacent, so x over 8. All right, so x is in the numerator, so I'm going to be multiplying 8 times a tangent of 48. And I'm going to round to the tenths place. That gives me about 8.9. All right, and then I'm going to use another color to solve for AC, which is Y. Okay, so I'm still going to use 48. Y is actually the hypotenuse. And I'm going to use adjacent again. So adjacent and hypotenuse, that would be cosine. Let's see, adjacent over hypotenuse. So Y is in the denominator, so I'm going to divide. So 8 divided by cosine of 48, 11.95, so that would round to about 12. You could have also used the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the third side. I'll show you that in the next problem. All right, so problem number two. So in this problem, we're given two sides, none of the angles except the right angle. So I'm missing the measure of angle F, the measure of angle D, and I'm missing the hypotenuse FD. So let's solve for the hypotenuse first using the Pythagorean theorem. You don't have to use this. You can use trig ratios. There's lots of different ways to solve a right triangle. So 5 squared plus 7 squared equals C squared because it's the hypotenuse. So that would be 25 and 49. That would be 74, and then I need to take the square root of both sides. That gives me about 8.6. So the length of our hypotenuse is 8.6. Alright, and then I'm going to call one of the angles X and one of the angles Y. So let's solve for X first. So I'm going to label my sides opposite and adjacent. I'm not going to use the hypotenuse just in case I messed up when I solved it. I don't want to use that and mess up the rest of the problem. So I'm going to use what the problem gave me as much as possible. So since I'm solving for an angle, remember I need to use the inverse. So tangent to the negative one, five divided by seven. That gives me, I'm going to round to the whole number about 36 degrees. You can also round to the tenths place, so 35.5 degrees. 
All right, and then I can just subtract that from 90 to get my other angle because we know they add to 90, which gives me 54 degrees. So 90 minus 36 is 54. And again, if you want to be more accurate, you can round to the tenths place. That's up to your teacher. Ask them how they would like you to round. All right, go ahead and pause the video now and try number one and number two below by yourself, and then we'll check it. All right, in example number one, I'm missing the measure of angle I. I'm missing side GH and side GI. So I'm going to solve for the measure of angle I first. So 90 minus 41 gives me 49 degrees. And then I'm just going to label these X and Y. All right, so let's solve for X first. So I'm going to use 41 degrees. I'm going to use opposite and adjacent, so tangent, opposite over adjacent. So x is in the denominator, that means I need to divide. And I got 16.1. Okay, and then I'm going to solve for y next. So this is still opposite, this is my hypotenuse. So that would be sine of 41. All right, so again, I'm going to divide. And I get 21.3. All right, and then in number two, I'm missing the measure of angle J, the measure of angle L, inside KL. So again, I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. So A squared plus 18 squared equals 22 squared. Let's see, 18 squared is 324. 22 squared is 484. I'm going to subtract 324 from both sides. That gives me 160. And then take the square root of both sides. I get about 12.6. All right, let's solve for angle J. So this would be adjacent and hypotenuse, so cosine. Use the inverse because I'm trying to find an angle. So that would be about 35 degrees. And then I can just take 90 minus 35, which gives me 55 degrees for angle L. All right, go ahead and stop the video now and try solving right triangles practice and check it with your teacher.